Welcome everybody to another episode of Extreme Power No Handling and today we're taking a look at the 2014 Volkswagen Golf R. So yeah, this is in the same vein as the last two cars that we've done, four wheel drive and quite modern. So yeah, this has 865 horsepower from a V6 engine weighing 3,398 pounds. So yeah, a fair bit heavier than the Escort so that might make it not be able to go as quick as it. But uh, being a more modern car it should have better tyres, better brakes and a better four wheel drive system so yeah it might get close might even beat it who knows so yeah let's see uh, what it can do now it didn't have a V6 originally up front this so yeah it's dealing with a bit more power up front it's just got two turbochargers up front now not just the one like it did originally but that means acceleration is far improved as you can see speeds any more than the car could normally do. It's dealing with a bit more weight than it would do normally. Because yeah, this V6 is obviously going to be heavier than it's not original engine. So yeah, you have to be careful. Oh dear, that car wasn't there. Well that's going to be something to wear. Uh, for the next lap. At least we're learning from our mistakes before we get to our last lap. Which is always a good thing. And despite that crash at Hammerhead, well, they're putting a pretty good time there. So yeah, only going to be improvements from here on. Granted, this isn't the most exciting car, the most unique car to put a lot of power in when it's still stopped, but. I still think we can improve upon the, the Escort's time after it, f after it was the first car to beat the Plymouth Prowler. After that car sitting on top for so long. And granted, it did only barely do it, but it can still be it nonetheless. I still think there's a, at least one other car that could possibly uh, beat that as well. So let's be on the hunt for it. Pretty good time, I think. If we uh, eliminate those couple of mistakes in this lap, we'll uh, improve even more. try and drive as cleanly as possible and as precisely as possible but different thing uh, be, uh, doing so many episodes and on this isn't going to always be used to produce exact cars well the exact lines for all different cars I do try my best to keep it as accurate as possible we 
go. One minute, twenty-one point zero seven two. So yeah, obviously not as quick as the uh, Ford Escort or even that Plymouth Prowler, but still a solid time nonetheless. Puts us just behind the uh, Lexus RCF and ahead of the uh, 95 Corvette and the uh, 2013 BMW M6. So yeah, number five, pretty damn good result I should say so, especially considering it had a fair bit of weight and had a bigger engine up front than it would normally have to deal with. So yeah, understeer was a bit of a bigger problem and uh, braking wise had to be a damn sight more careful and at the end of the day you are dealing with a hatchback that's not all that expensive so yeah it's definitely probably the cheapest car out of that top five anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one